I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring even and odd combination of functions. The question before us is, is the product of two even functions even, odd or neither, right? So same question but in a different way, is the product of two odd functions even, odd or neither? And then we have, is the product of even and odd function even, odd or neither? So that is the question before us. So we can take examples one by one and check. So let us consider two even functions and see if their product is even, odd or neither. So both the functions which we are considering are even. Let us say f of x is even. That means that, means that f of minus x is equal to f of x, right? And if I say g of minus x is equals to g of x, that means it is even, right? So that is our definition of even functions. Now if I have product of these two functions, that is if I have f of x times g of x, then we have to consider what is the result of f of minus x times g of minus x. Since both are even functions, f of minus x will be equals to fx and g of minus x will also be g of x and therefore what we get is the original function. Right? Let me call this as product function. Right? So we do get same product function. Since we get the same product function, therefore we say that the product of two even functions is even. Right? So we can conclude here that it is even. Now let's take the second example and in the second example we'll take product of two odd functions. Let's say two odd functions. Now odd functions means what? Odd functions means that if I take f of x as an odd function then f of minus x should be equal to minus of fx. And g of minus x will be equal to minus of gx. Now we are considering product of two odd functions. Let's say hx is product of two odd functions and that is hx is equals to f of x times g of x. Now what is h of minus x? This is what we have to figure out, right? So we'll replace x with minus x. So it becomes f of minus x times g of minus x. Now as we know f of minus x is minus fx so we get minus fx for the first part and for the second part also we get minus of gx is that okay now minus and minus becomes positive right and therefore we what we get here is f of x times g of x now since h of minus x is same as h of x we can conclude that product of two odd functions is even, right? So we got it even. So here also we get even function. Now in the third case, we will take one odd function and we'll have product of one odd with one even function. In that case, what do we get? Let us check that out. So so let us consider in this particular case that f of x is odd and g of x is even, right? Now let's find their product. So we are talking about h of x. Let's write, write down here. h of x is equal to f of x times g of x, right? So let's find what h of minus x is equal to, right? So h of minus x will be f of minus x times g of minus x. Now f of minus x since f of x is odd should be equals to minus of fx, right? g of x is taken as even so therefore it should be equals to g of x. So when we multiply them we get minus of f of x g of x. Is that okay? Now that means this is an odd function, right? h of minus x is equals to is equals to minus of hx, correct? So this one becomes an odd function, correct? So if we have a combination of even and odd function, 
then always you are going to get an odd function. And this is a very general proof which you can apply and prove. You can take very specific even odd functions also. For example, you know, examples of even functions which you could take are kind of, uh, let me write down which you can experiment with. You could take x square and x to the power of 4. These are even functions, right? If you are taking odd functions, you could take x cube and x, right? And combination of these two will give you a combination of even and odd. And you can perform the operation and check the result yourself. So if I take two even functions and multiply them, so let me take one here. Let us say product of two even functions is x2 times x to the power of 4. Then will be x to the power of 4 plus 2 is 6, which is even. Is it okay? If I take two odd functions, that means we are talking about product of functions like x cubed times x to the power of 5. When we multiply them, we get 8, which is even as you know, right? On the other hand, if you take functions like 1 odd and 1 even, for example, x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3, when you multiply them, you get x to the power of 4 plus 3 is 7, which is odd. So that is another way of proving the same thing. I hope with this you understand how the combination of functions work out when you take even and odd functions and multiply them. I hope that helps. Thank you.